without spiritual awakening, there's going to be darkness in your field. The darkness of ignorance. No perception of the inner light. And that's a miserable place to be. I've been there. It's that place that spurred me on to look, to search. And I didn't want it from books and temples. I had enough of that. I needed someone who experienced a journey. I didn't need an ordinary teacher to give me more information and want to be my guide. And I met. I met those. I wanted a, a teacher in whose presence I can feel something. And what I learned about that was amazing. That a teacher is not a man. <laughs> oh, woman. The teacher actually is the universal teacher. She, the evolutionary energy. Of course, it's beyond gender. But for the sake of uh, the creative process and the energy process, we call her she. She operates like a mother. And the consciousness like a father. Stand back. Support. That's why mothers are so cherished. And fathers are recognized. <laughs> so this act of spiritual awakening is extremely important in the field. It's very difficult in your own. It's hard work. Because the ego is so much involved, wanting to find something, wanting to do something, wanting to be something. And you think that I have to do this. And in the ignorance, you go in circles. But when spiritual awakening happens, especially in Maha Yoga, a guide appears. Inner and outer. Inner, ultimately, outer in the beginning. And then, the awareness of multidimensionality comes in. And it comes in gradually. As you let go of all identities, you begin to open up to new knowledge. So really, the spiritual evolution it's all about you learning to transform the ego, to detach from all identities. And as you do so, you become aware of the, what is there in this, the beautiful light of the essence that is infinite. Infinite consciousness, infinite energy, infinite possibilities. So unless you don't give up the old, <laughs> then you cannot manifest. So a lot of the spirituality is about seeing those old identities and, and learning to detach from them. The vivek and vairag, discrimination and detachment. And detachment should not be seen as renunciation, giving up all the material things around you. Detachment is giving up the desires, the attachment, the judgments, because you can give up everything around you and still have it deep in your consciousness. So you need the tests of the outer world to show you how detached you are, how discriminating you are. So the, the, the tests that you get in the outer world are healthy. So in the beginning, I shunned the outer world, looking for just these ashrams and then there. And then <laughs> after spiritual awakening, I said, no, 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 I don't need to be attached to anything. I need to get into the fray because that's how I can grow. And I enjoy the process of being back in the fray, in the material, in the samsara, in the material world, but staying in the light. That helped me to grow deeper and deeper and deeper into the light. I love the test. 
just like a butterfly coming out of the cocoon, its wings get hardened by breaking the shell, breaking the shell, breaking the shell. Bow! Cocoon is broken, strengthening the shell. So what we do in the, in the process is strengthening the divine presence in us by breaking the shell of the ego continuously. So I've been trying to tell you, don't be impatient. Learn to work with flow. The universe operates in flow, quantum. Bring the breath in flow until you can feel the prana or prana. Bring the mantra in flow. Let it resonate in the mind. Don't force the repetition. Let it repeat itself in the mind. Bring, let, it flow, let it be flow in exercise. Don't be so rigid. And be in flow with activity and rest. Too much activity? It's not good. Too much rest? Not good. Learn to live in flow, in harmony with the universe. Day and night are in flow. You guys are in flow. And you have all the tools within you for well-being, for happiness, and for freedom. It's right in you. Search for them. They're right in your toolbox. Dig deeper. So that's where I will leave you on this Thursday. Wishing you a happy Thursday, everyone. The experience of this Luca is a, a beautiful one, regardless of all the ups and downs. all the difficulties. Stay in the light. Don't lose the light. Stay in the light. And then you're able to see. If you don't have the searchlight of consciousness, then you can't, you can't shine it in the space that you could see. You need the light. The searchlight of the consciousness. Don't look just with the dark ego. Turn on the light of the inner consciousness, the evolutionary guide, the Guru Tattva. Turn that light on, and you begin to see everything clearly. Have a happy day, everyone. Embrace your world. Namaskar. No